Looks like you're having fun. I am. Come on in. No, I just like to watch. Fuck's sake, Mix. Mix. <laughs> right. Well. Fuck's sake, Mix. I mean. Right. Well. Uh, fuck's sake, Mix. Mix. So, uh, last time was my pick didn't quite end up on the thing, despite what, you know, Meeks wants. This time it's your pick, so... Yes, and my last pick did not go according to plan, but I have a new cunning plan, and that is the Bronx Collection. I've not seen it before, but I have seen an advert. Um, it's three movies, we're obviously not watching all three, we're just going to watch the first one, which is the Bronx Warriors. Um, it, we, we haven't seen the advert for this, but we've actually seen an advert is for the original sequel, which is not really a sequel because it's set about 30 years after, but was recorded about a year after with all the same cast. Accomplices and heirs of the nuclear holocaust will be wiped out once and for all. We're only gonna do the one. I swear. No, no far movie with Hell Goes to Frogtown. But uh, yeah, Bronx Warriors. The it's just Hell Goes to Frogtown, but better. Hopefully, it's it's a it's a post-apocalyptic war zone where rival gangs tear up the streets on choppers waging a bloody war for supremacy. Rebelling against her industrial father's tyrannical corporation, Anne runs away but finds herself in the Bronx, a lawless frontier that has become a battleground for rival gangs. They really like the rival gangs bit. Dispatched by Anne's father, borderline nut job, ex-cop. Isn't that Vic all of them? Moreau. Isn't that every ex-cop? Borderline nut job. Vic Moreau from The Last Shark, a movie everybody clearly will have seen, enters the Bronx with the firm intention of recapturing the wayward bint. That is literally oh, no. how they've written it. The oh, wayward no. bint. And fanning the flames of anarchy between the warring factions under the Big Apple's possessive cooking. His possessive cooking? Mm, sorry, positively cooking. <laughs> Boring factions until the oh until the Big Apple's positively cooking. That's a weird word. So New York is cooking because it's in the Bronx. Yes. One thing I want to point out, Cisco, we haven't seen any of these movies. We don't know if they're going to be great. You saw one trailer once, and it's the most elaborate of anything we've ever done on the mountain. Like yeah, I mean, a steel it, box it, set. It's, it's in a tin. I mean, how how much more official can you get? It's tin. Tin? Tin's in this? Yes, she's Anne. Hi, I'm Tin and I play Anne in the 1982's The Bronx Warriors. Enzo G. Castellari. Ah. We will see if that's the same on the actual watch along because quite often they have, you know, pseudonyms because apparently if you're Italian, you can't sell movies to the Americans. Let's go. No, I don't. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh, actual art, not the box art on the disc. That's like that's boding well. Somebody put a little bit of money in this. Shamelessfilms.com. Yeah, it's out of stock now. <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure that's because they, you know, sold out very quickly. Yeah. 
So, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. So. so. <laughs> yes. What, what do you mean you, you, th you just copy everything I say? <laughs> <laughs> Da, da, da. The far off year of 1990. Now you don't know what could happen between now and 1990. <laughs> Whoa. Post apocalyptic? <laughs> You've got time to do that? It's a uh -huh. post apocalyptic dildo. You see, that doesn't make me think <laughs> Mad Max. Post apocalyptic butterfly. Yeah, that doesn't make me think <laughs> Mad Max. 1990, the Brox has officially declared no, no man's, man's land. land. The authorities have all given up all attempts. <laughs> They've given up all the attempts, Cisco. All the attempts to full restore <laughs> law and order. And something else. Attempts. <laughs> uh, I, good job, guys. How did that make it into the actual movie? Like, on the back of the box, I can understand, but actually in the movie. Good job, guys. Oh, no, not roller skate gangs. <laughs> no. This. What is this oh, music? No. Oh, Cisco. Well, that's an exciting fighting scene, isn't it, Cisco? That's how you film action. <laughs> oh, oh, well, what's going on here? Oh, I think you know what's going on oh, here. Oh yes, go, go. Oh. Oh. The legs didn't go flying. Wait. Oh, cut the heads off. Oh, okay. Ah. I mean... I wanted heads to go flying. You, 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 you do that, you wanted the legs to be chopped off and the head to be chopped off, right? Uh, okay, yeah, sure, slow-mo it. It'll make it look better. It's the riders and the glowing skulls, the plastic glowing uh, Halloween prop skulls. I think all the gangs just accept him, you know. He's drummer. He's there, he's there to give the mood music. You yeah, know? he's the drummer guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, <laughs> he just drums. <laughs> he's just there. He's drumming well, away. Where? Uh, Oh god. What are the <laughs> <laughs> What gang is this? <laughs> I think we're supposed to ignore the little old lady wandering around. This is a war there zone, Cisco. There's people waving in the van. I don't know. Tough looking bunch of guys. You can see people in the street. Yeah, just, that's what I mean. Just, but ignore them. They're not there. This is a war zone, remember. It's nothing but gangs. Ignore those cars. Why did you do that? Shit. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Okie dokie. Fucking bastard! Pop that fucker! What was that? What? Was that a bomb? His entire gang of like four bikers. You stay here. Let's go! What's happening, Cisco? I don't know. I, they all clearly know who he is, and it's framed as if we know who he is. So they haven't bothered to explain who he is. Did you get them? No. 
We have the worst gang in the world. See, but you gotta remember, we don't know who the fuck just died. We don't know who killed We don't them, even know who the main really characters know are. Why. We don't know who the main characters are. Well, we know who the main characters are, but we don't know who they are. Really? Can you tell me who they are? Well, it's Trash and the girl, isn't it? And who are they? Oh, I don't know who they are, but I, I know... Oh, so you know who those, they are, you just don't know the, who they are. Those are. That's what I said. No, you know their names, that's as far as it goes. We don't know who the fuck they are. Actually, I don't know her name. No. So, he's a cop, and his operation was to go in and kill one of the gang members and their girlfriend, and then leave. Yes. What operation is he supposed to be performing? Is his operation to rescue that, to, to, or kidnap the girl? I think so. I'm assuming Because he's not doing point, well. At some point, she's going to give us some exposition that explains who she is. Look, it could be a pile of shit out of somebody's asshole. What? about the gizmo, right? The tracker. Well, let me what? Tell you what? What? Was what? what line was that? Will you please listen. It was Anne. Said she wanted to think. Oh shit! I don't want her thinking. I knew there's one broad. She thought, and her head exploded. It's the hockey gang. Yay! Oh, what? What? The <laughs> <laughs> fuck was that? It's supposedly a war zone. You leaving won't stop him dying. I, mean, I could believe she would inherit, like, stock or something, but you don't inherit the title of CEO. We're both very confused and angry about different things at the moment. <laughs> you the hierarchy of corporate America at this point, and me, how this, this, this society of gangs are being presented as, like, a happy little island. She's basically saying that she has to leave, otherwise these gang members might die. They're supposed to be in a blood feud war every day. It's got nothing to do with her if they die. But it's... Oh no, they can't oh no. get past a bit of wood. It's set up as if like it's a happy um, it's clearly a ecosystem. Trap. It's a happy ecosystem, and her being there Why is would you stop it. and get off your... Oh, oh no! God, no, a net! It's the hockey stick gang. Ha 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 ha, we've got them now. This is pathetic. But <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't believe any of these gangs, honestly. <laughs> they're all <laughs> they're all wearing top hats. Time to I, fight I, to I the death. I kind of love it. Time to fight to the death. Oh. Where did that come from and why? Was that like an outtake? That made it into the movie? I'm gonna read up on it after this film and how much you bet <laughs> that was that happened and they just left it in because no <laughs> second takes. Wait, how is he there already? Well, yeah. What? So did he just so he knows where he's going and he just skipped all the tap dancing guys. Whoa. Yeah. Hammer? What? Why are you contacting him at all? Oh. Also, what the fuck, man? Wait, wait. Oh, I'm, 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 that actor that played Ice got seriously injured. He's not in the rest of the movie. No. Oh, and, and they've had to re, re bring it. They've just left the first half. Look at this in? apocalyptic world, Cisco. How you doing there? It's just fine. Looks like you're having fun. I am. Come on in. Oh, I just like to watch. What? what? All right. Okay, so uh, Yoga's gang is just horny. What are these the tigers? Yeah, well, yeah. For Christ's sake, man, we don't have time to think. There's no time. Tough shit. If you want an answer, you must wait. You're the king of the Bronx. But if you don't want Hammer to screw you, you gotta give me a hand. Oh yeah. Because you've got guns, and we've got some sticks, and we're not particularly good with them. We can free the girl and screw up Hammer's scheme. And? Go on. 
Me and you could take on the zombies and... Uh, and if we win, have less trouble after. Are the zombies any trouble at all? You want me to help you get your chick back? The people with the skates? That's the big payoff that Fred Williams is going to get, is that there might not be the skating people anymore. The ones who have hockey sticks. You drove to the waterfront yesterday! Why aren't you taking your fucking cars? And why is there just the three of you? And where are your guns? Oh, okay. Just remember you killed him. <laughs> what? I, th I think it's a town as a mercy killing. Is it? Yeah. Why? Because he was... Strung he up by his arms. You see, he couldn't take the pain anymore. He goes, oh, it hurts. <laughs> ah, oh well. Oh, also, I a whip is, the, is a terrible weapon for this. She also fingered him to death. Meeks will be happy. Focus! Focus! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Why isn't the movie about Fred? I know, he's so much cooler! Oh, jeez. He's still trying to convince him to give him the girl. That's it. That's what all these scenes are. And him standing there going, oh, I don't know. You don't get the girl by 11 o'clock tomorrow. I like to point out did that Hannah go, still hasn't attempted to get the girl. Did he go all the way back to the yes. thing? Yes. And that means Hot Dog dropped him off because he was going to Hot Dog mm -hmm. and then went to see what Ace was doing. Yes. And then he phoned him on the radio. But he has in no way attempted to find out where she is or rescue her. Seriously? I would also like to point out that him going to Fred for help, or the ogre, <laughs> literally just got Fred. Like, yeah, he's then, supposed to have an entire biker well, gang. He, he, and, and he has an entire gang of, of pimps, pimps maybe? armed, well... With guns, anyway. With guns, yeah. They, they, they all had guns. Each other, man. I, and... Got him. Well, if it isn't the great ogre. <laughs> she looks so bored. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, there's oh there he is. And there she is. The, were they there changed. all along? She's changed outfits, though. Now she's in a dominatrix getup. Whatever you've got in mind, forget it. Really? That's too bad, because I prepared a surprise for you, Trash. Oh, is he double-crossing him? I don't care. <laughs> One way or the other. Like, whatever, just... Sure. Well, are they all supposed to be like flamethrowers or something? <laughs> I got oh, you an ice cream cake. He got you a big cake. What? From where? You're in the middle of like a war zone. But also, when did he order it? Like, that's, that's... no, 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 no. They baked it. Sister. Yeah. So when did the like? Is this days later? Is this like? We know it's fifteen minutes across town via the sewers. The cake? What? They are the worst like, gang. Everybody gets past them. A giant fucking army on cavalry got past them. It's her birthday? She said she was oh, going to turn She said she was about like to turn day. 18. Have no survivors this day! Horsemen! Horsemen! Sir, spread out! Take cover! No, don't take cover. Get the guns. Oh, flamethrowers. Let's shoot those barrels. What happened to their guns? They had guns before. Uh, 
That's that same set of barrels. Yeah. Oh no! Whip Lady died! To those dastardly guns again. My sword will protect me! Oh, he's well, getting flamed again. It's very unlucky, that guy. Yeah. He's been flamed like four times now. <laughs> uh, sure. Why not? Okay. Oh, bloody hell, there he goes again. That guy just kind of catch a break. What? What was that scene? Did they decide they didn't need her alive? Now entering final phase. No. Well, nobody said anything about it. <laughs> Wait, it's in his back now? You shot him in the front. <laughs> it's not like you need consistency in this. No. Oh, okay, there you go. What? That was the end? But they were all... They, they wanted her alive because... What? Uh... Continuity. <laughs> Always the biggest joke. I hate never saw a boom mic. Good on you, Eros. Just saying. Um, Cisco. Regret to inform you, spoilers, right? <laughs> but this ain't going anywhere near a thing, okay? <laughs> Set they versions. had that tap dancing gang for one scene. Ah, well, we've seen it. You can't unseen it. Yeah. I am now. Running. Ow! It's fine. Oh yeah, you've got you've got the thing. <sighs> oh no! Oh, just to annoy Danny. Oh. Stop showing your ass to the internet. Enjoy your ass anyway. Uh, that was indeed that. So, uh, the, oh, the, the Bronx Warriors. 1982's The Bronx Warriors um, is, <laughs> well, it's a rip of the 1979 The Warriors. Yes. Aesthetically speaking, and whatever else they were hoping for. I think only aesthetically speaking, because you can't say they ripped the story because there isn't really a well, story. Here's the thing it's a rip of The Warriors without plot or point, but what they do have is Fred Williamson, as you can see on the front there. Yeah. So they get at least a point for that. But yeah, um. <laughs> where's Yoga? How you doing, Trash? I said, where's Yoga? He's mighty pissed. You, this was your choice, so I have to describe it. Um, you, yes, you have to give us the storyline. The please. run up. So, Good uh, luck. The Manhattan Corporation is bad. 
Um, it also seems to have a weird managerial policy of inheritance of the CEO ship. So, like, if you're the CEO, you're when your oldest child reaches the age of eighteen, they're the CEO now. Um, yeah. And because of that fact, Anne, played by Tin, um, is a few days away from her eighteenth birthday, and she doesn't want to be the CEO, so she runs away to the post-apocalyptic Bronx, which is in no way post-apocalyptic. Uh, she meets the leader of the Riders, um, the, the, the stand-in for the titular Warriors from the Warriors, um, becomes his girlfriend. Not a lot of anything of interest or note happens. Um, she gets captured by the zombies who are the roller skate and hockey gang. Her father, before she gets kidnapped, her father hires a simultaneously ex and current cop Hammer and tasks him with retrieving her from the Bronx a task that he in no way attempts to fulfill in any fashion. Um, there is a motorcycle accident captured on film. Yeah. Fred Williamson is cool. Uh, there is an inexplicable birthday cake. Then everybody dies except Trash, who was the leader of the writers. The end. Yes. Inexplicable birthday cake massacre. The end. So that is actually I know I'm I know I'm sort of being facetious to a point, but that is actually it. I mean, nothing of note or interest happens. No, no nothing really. I mean, it's it's difficult to summarize the plot because there really isn't one. Going on far too long. <laughs> to say, really, we need to see every single step this fucker takes. I think the the the. I mean, he did a masterful job of summarizing what little plot there was. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it it's a. It is utterly incomprehensible. Things happen for mostly for no reason, and I don't understand why most of people's were doing what they're like. When Trash, when she gets kidnapped and Trash is going across town, get town to get Fred Williams back. Oh, we'll to get help. to all that. Why he doesn't? We'll write. get to all that. That's toward the end. We'll get to that. You're jumping. I mean, I know yeah. there's nothing to talk about in the middle, but you're jumping pretty much like, toward the end. But then, bef before that, what happens? You've got nothing of note or say, interest, as I've you, said. You've, you've got <laughs> nothing the, of note or the, interest. The really, yeah. Bef before <laughs> that. She arrives, and then she's kidnapped. Like, Look, she right at the beginning of the movie, we see her running across the bridge. And the first thing we say is, oh, so it's not post-apocalypse. No. because This film told us, the back of the box and, and, and the trailer that we saw after we'd seen the film, informs you that it's post-apocalyptic, but it's not. It's just the Bronx in the 80s, okay? And it, it, she's running across the bridge... We're hearing voiceover, which is supposed to explain to us what's happening, but it doesn't really explain it. It says that the, the that that the CEO of the Manhattan Corporation's daughter has gone missing. But we don't know why that's important. Then we get the title card to explain everything, which straight up lies and has typos. and has a typo in it, where it says that all attempts <laughs> instead of attempt. So that 
is a sign of quality or what's to come. We should have known from there. Then you see the tunnel and she's running through the tunnel and we know because we've seen the film now that that tunnel belongs to the zombies. I still don't know why they're called zombies. Who are the 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 street hockey gang? Yes. And all the, that's all where the gangs she have meets themes. and that's where she meets trash. The next the very next scene, she's his girlfriend now and we don't know what's happening. No, for some reason they found one of their gang members dead on the the coast. Nothing is ever actually explained, we can just assume. Leads into one of the weirdest experiences of a film I've seen where I'm desperately trying to extrapolate what's happening because you see that there's a person just drumming down by the water (laughs) and... You, it cuts to that dead body you're you're talking about. Somebody is impaled on a bit of wood down by the river. Trash and an awful lot of bikers show up. It's it's impressive the amount of bikers that he has in his gang and will yes. remain in his gang for the rest of the movie. And the scene is just cutting randomly between bikers, the guy drumming, the dead guy, trash his new girlfriend Anne on the back of the bike and when you think oh well that's enough of that surely they're going to stop that now 10 minutes later it's still doing it because (laughs) Fred Williamson's gang the Tigers though we don't know anything about them at this point also show up in cars in cars and as pimps dressed as like 1950 1960 1960s pimps yes and we're like oh Okay, we're going to get some explanation now. Nothing is explained. They are the Tigers. They have guns. Now, one thing I should say about this film is we're told and shown things. And those things are lies. (laughs) Like I mentioned, he certainly has a lot of members of his biker gang, doesn't he? (laughs) Well technically you're shown that he has loads of people in the riders we're also told by the way in the opening crawl i say crawl the opening title card that the riders rule the bronx which is a lie because you're also told later that apparently the tigers rule the bronx and ogre fred williamson is the king of the bronx yes great nothing is true he doesn't have loads of bikers he has four Yes, and... One... The entire biker gang is four people. Um, and one of them is trying to take over the gang. Could it in be the... the one that's dressed up as a Nazi officer? It could be the one who's wearing the Nazi SS officer outfit, and I can't stress this enough. The gang who is, is as close to the protagonist side as you can get in this, and I, I have to say that vaguely because... Eh... <laughs> but the gang who are as close to the good guys as we're going to get are Nazis. What was that a swastika I saw? I think so. It cut away from it very quickly. Yep. Nope, oh, that yeah. was, nope, that that's swastika. Okay. okay. So our good guys are Nazis. This is going great. And that's just go give, give a sponsored shout out to Nazis. No. <laughs> Fuck you, Nazis. <laughs> That's going to get us banned uh, on YouTube. I, well, here's the thing. You're not allowed to use... Well, I say you're not allowed. You can't say the word Nazi amongst oh. loads of other things. Otherwise, you kind of get... You get demonetized and oh, the well. algorithm <laughs> kicks you down the pan. Well, we Nobody's <laughs> seeing this episode. I, unfortunately, we can't have a discussion on this movie without mentioning the fact that the, the, the hero gang is at least partly... Filled with Nazis. I'm trying to make it light over here. Look, I've got the rainbow, so the Nazis aren't going to be happy about it anyway. You know? I mean, uh, yeah, I, mean, I suppose we sh- we should address the fact that we should address the Nazis in the room. Yeah. <laughs> what I was going to say is we should address. I this. am not implying that Jasper's a Nazi. Okay. <laughs> He's not. He's not. He, he he might try and hunt down and kill Nazis because. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna derail the Nazi conversation and I'm. Well, gonna... I was gonna gonna say that the, the, there's a need for oh, a discussion no. Oh, no. on the side plot, what passes it. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> trying to derail the Nazis by reading the back, and it starts talking about inglorious <laughs> bastards. bastards. <sighs> 
a, a, a brief shout out to the side plot, which is. I keep trying. You're not going to Yo, shout out to the side plot, man. <laughs> the side plot, which is that uh, Trash's second in command is, is trying to take over the gang and is use, is trying to use any any means to 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 force a gang war so that he can in theory take over when you're trash giving fails. far too much side plot to this film that doesn't really have much side plot it's him here's the thing i would say at best it's implied it's said a couple of times that he maybe like he thinks he'd be better you know running the gang but he, None of his schemes are much of anything to do with him. They're all to do with the other bad yeah, guys who are like, oh, well, you know, where, where's Trash going to be? I th- I think Can you tell us where your leader's going to be? Uh, as in any any story, you have to judge it by the other story. So you, from 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 the level of plot in the other story, this one is, you know, this is quite a strong subplot by comparison to the complete lack of main story. Well, you know what's a big shame then? The fact that they couldn't finish it because he fell off his bike and hurt himself. Oh. Where did that come from and why? Was that like an outtake? <laughs> we think. We don't know. We know he literally did fall off his bike. Um, it's in a really awkward scene because he's not in many scenes after that. But one thing we need to point out is that Half of this film, the way they do uh, Italian films, half the film had to be filmed in Rome. So anytime you see an interior shot inside a building or well, literally any interior shot it was done in Rome and the rest of it was filmed on location in the Bronx. So um, he's still in the movie after the accident, but only in all the internal all shot shots, scenes, yeah. which presumably were shot before they shot all the others and then he fell off his bike and couldn't be in the movie anymore so that that could be a part of the reason why some of the plot is so incomprehensible <gasps> no <laughs> that was just a random thing that happened and i don't think it derailed the film in any way the film derailed the film yes yeah, it did well because they were gonna <laughs> we saw in this film there were definitely no bouncers in this titty bar i didn't see a single bouncer oh I mean, all the tits were bouncing. Yes. <laughs> oh, sh- <laughs> I'm trying to avoid the double entendre. Oh, it's not even a double, it's a sing- it's just an entendre. I thought, okay. <laughs> I thought you were legitimately caught talk- referring to bouncers. No, I am referring he to was. bouncers. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm just saying what actually happens in these bars is they're, you know, he's a very. <laughs> it, For no reason at all. Hammer, the police officer, dresses up as a postal worker. Yep. Whom we've also been told there aren't any in the Bronx. Nope. So he stands out as much as if he'd just gone in with his regular clothing. Because every time you see him, he's not in uniform until the end. Yep. So if he'd gone in in his normal clothing, nobody would have looked at him twice. But he's gone in as a postal worker and has a big tube just big enough to carry a shotgun, which again... Given that it's supposed to be lawless anarchy, I don't know why he has to hide the fact he has a gun. Yep. He goes into the rider's lair where Anne is, where he could take her, shoots two of them, and then leaves. Yeah. And that was the end of his plan. That was it. Yeah. And then we're 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 greeted, or actually it's a it's a treat, obviously. We're treated, not greeted. We're treated to this hugely long drawn out scene where these two people that we've never met before don't even know the names of who have been killed by the police officer get an entire funeral service yep. where Anne stands around looking sad for them and then they all drive back down to the river where the drummer was before who I really want to talk about because <laughs> that scene's insane and they all throw ashes supposedly into yep. the water except they're all like if you think back to Robo War and the <laughs> and so the ashes are blown back in their faces and you're just like what is happening now and he and then you've got him ha 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 I'm the mastermind genius he he does have I mean, there's a lot of scenes of him speaking to me but he spoke to, he, he, he did speak to the second in command of Trash's gang at one point with hot dog in his with van. With hot dog, yeah. yeah. Hot dog, who is a guy who drives a van and has a limp. 
Hot Dog, who is a guy who drives a van, has a limp, is never introduced, but the film just presents him as if you're supposed yeah, to know who he, he is. it really is weird. It's just the way the way it is in, he is introduced, where, where, the way he specifically isn't introduced, but is just it is just assumed that you know Do who you he is. Do you remember him? You've seen him before. Um, Don't worry about it. Maybe that was a scene that was either cut or not filmed because of the accident or something, and they just decided they didn't need it. Or, I doubt it. Or, I doubt uh, it. He, he technically turns good guy and try or, or something. Sort of. He turns on the 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 the, the second in command of the gang at one point, and when he when he's supposed to be on his side, and he and then he's immediately killed. Is he ever supposed to be on his side though? Uh, yeah, he's kind of on the side of the hammer and that guy. Yeah, he's helping them, sort of. One of the things that I can't really show as a scene, it, but we can talk about, is how shit the script was. Yes. The The one line that sticks in my mind is, that could be a pile of shit out of somebody's asshole. I don't remember this line. When was this? You fuck, look, it could be a pile of shit out of somebody's asshole. What? We're talking about the gizmo, right? The tracker. Well, let me what, tell you, what, what, to what line was that? Will you please listen, it was Anne. Is there any good scene you can think of? Or an interesting scene? Well, I mean, there's obviously the motorcycle accident. <laughs> Someone getting hurt on set is the most interesting scene. Well, the interesting part is they put it in the film. I think they, they had to. put that accident in the film. They don't have much else to show, you know? Um... Hmm. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that the motorcycle accident. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, I, I think. Is that it, about it? I mean, I, I think some of the. Oh, the one scene. One scene that was almost my favourite scene when I was thinking through it. Trash getting. You know, the, the utter pathetic scene of Trash getting a net put on him. And yes. going, ah, bested by a net. And, and the zombie gang. When the, when trash goes past on his motorbike, sneaking out with a little, like a goal from like they were playing street hockey, but they were trying actually barricading him in. Here's the and thing. It just that's on watching it like that's one hundred percent the editing's fault, right? Because clearly they're barricading the road, so when they come back, they can't get back through. But yes, it looks like they're setting up because it's just a tiny bit of wood on little stands and they're going tee and all it's missing is tee as they're putting it there and we were watching it going that's not going to barricade shit. The next time you see it when it cuts back later they've actually barricaded it but because you because it didn't show you them doing that that's what you thought they were doing. Like they couldn't just drive around this bit of wood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Completely yes. the editing. Yeah, the, then, then them throwing the net on trash and he just immediately crumples to the ground uh, and he, just lies there like oh no the net it hath taken me they, 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 they kick him a couple of times and then run away and again in my head there's the D um, <laughs> I will I will say that, that base is like it's a very Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mm. It has a um, trampoline in it for no reason. And throughout the background of many of the scenes, because you said the guy who fell off the bike. Yeah. The the Ice is the character's name. Um, he clearly, he had more to do in the movie, but he can't now because he's injured, we assume. Yeah. But they've got all the internal shots. So the only times you see him after that is when he's standing, talking to Golem, the head of the zombies. I might be pulling that name out of my no, ass. No, he, he is. He, um, well, whether he's head of whether his name no, he's is Golem. The head of, I think he may be called Golem, but he's talking to him. But the problem is because they don't have any other sh shots of him, they have to keep cutting back to him going up to Golem and going, "Can I have the girl, please?" Yeah. And him going, oh, "I'm not sure." Cut away to something else. Cut back to him coming back up, going, "I'd really like that girl now." And him going, oh, "I just have to wait. I'm not sure." I think it's very clear that those are all the same scene, but different <laughs> different, takes different takes of the same scene of the same scene, and that's the footage they had. But so my point it. is, every time they show that in the background, there's one of the zombies jumping up and down on the trampoline, <laughs> having of a whale of a time, going yay! And I'm like, what are they? Are they training? What's happening in here? What are they doing? Oh man, that is so fucking stupid. Ready? Mm-hmm.
Funny hard than that. Cisco. Well, I'm trying not to hurt him. <laughs> Beat me. That's Beat me. Pussy hit that. Come oh, on. Oh, oh, my God. Ready? Out yeah. of shot. So, with all that bullshit out of the way, Cisco, what's your favourite scene in this bullshit movie that doesn't have many good scenes? My favourite scene is, it's not a particularly long scene, um, it's when Trash is going through the dance, dance gang territory. <laughs> the dank dancers. The, the, nice. The dance gang's territory and the dan dance gang. <laughs> the I, dank dance gang. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? That's Cisco <laughs> down with your dank memes. Um, so yeah, it's just basically they're going through the territory and the dance gang turns up um, and <laughs> they dance at them a little bit. And they dance and, at dance class. <laughs> and they then say, all right, you can pass. And that was the, end of the, the scene. end of the scene. But you know what? There's a lot of effort went into those costumes and the makeup and the tattoos and everything. So I, I, I. I, I give that up. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every moment of that scene. <laughs> I enjoyed mainly that scene because, for different reasons, though. Maybe because before and after mm -hmm. is so dull. So mm -hmm. it, it, it's a real spike of, oh, this is interesting. I, I, I could pay attention for this. And it's over. Well, I enjoyed it for different reasons for you, which is the editing in that scene is, is kind of accidentally hilarious because it, like, it's cutting between them. And all of them look bored out of their fucking minds. It cuts to them in the makeup just going. Because they've clearly been told to just stand there and not move because they're getting shots. Yeah. Unfortunately, they're supposed to be like intimidating or something, which they're not because they're dressed up as tap dancers with sparkly face makeup and they all have like bowler hats and canes and they're about and to burst butterflies into. Butterflies on their cheek. Yeah, they're, you know. But, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't believe any of these gangs, honestly. <laughs> they're all, <laughs> they're all wearing top hats. Beat it. Before I change my mind. Now the rest of you get back to tap class. Tap dancing practice, everybody, come on. I, I don't know what I don't know what that scene was, but I kind of loved it. Any second they were going to break out into putting on the Ritz, I was waiting for it, and they did. Yeah, I would have liked them to have done a dance number, but hey, you know. That's your favorite scene. It was slim pickings, slim pickings. It is slim pickings. Um, there isn't any, usually we build up the scene and we ex yeah, and, and and then we show it, but. Um, I can show your scene. Your scene is, this gang exists. My scene is, yeah, this gang Your favourite scene, and the reason it's your favourite is, they exist. It wasn't because something funny happened, it was, look at this. Uh, my favourite scene, such as it is, um, after the massive disappointing disappointment, I should say, of the opening with the blades on the bike, and yeah. the guy gets hit in the face and he's like... Uh, is Fred Williamson with his sword. He finally gives us a decapitation. It looks a bit janky, yeah. but it's fine. It's great throughout when you've had a, a movie of nothing happening. <laughs> Shink. Yeah. His head goes flying. Perfectly fine. Is about two seconds of the movie. I can't exp I can't build it up and explain it as a hilarious scene. It's just Fred Williamson does something cool. That's my favourite scene. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thanks. Don't let me know. Why isn't the movie about Fred? I know, he's so much cooler. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> so, we've said very little about that film, Cisco. Um... Given that we already know that that box set, the Bronx Warriors trilogy, which as we've talked about isn't technically really a trilogy, um, is out of stock. So given that it's out of stock where we got it from, would you recommend people go out and find their own copy for their 
bad movie nights of the Bronx Warriors in no way ripping off the Warriors. No. Oof. No, the, it is not a good, bad movie. It is not an entertaining, bad movie. It, 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 the plot is, is incomprehensible, but there isn't enough fun elements to make it worth like if it had been even even if the plot had been incomprehensible if the violence had been fun violence and there'd been lots of nice decapitations and all that the, the crazy stuff which i'm hoping is in the other two movies um then it could have been forgiven you know you, you want some explosions you want like they had flamethrowers but they were dull they, were they the did have explosions boring. but they were dull that one guy who kept getting flamed in the face all the time. They kept uh, using the same scenes, yes, over and over again to imply lots of people were getting burned. But they didn't have lots of people to burn, so... Speaking of explosions, there was that one scene that... W another perfect example of how it was a very disappointing film where you thought something fun was going to happen. You had Garino, and they were in their base. And the postman had stormed their base... And through a hole in the wall behind Garino, you see Hammer appear, and he's got a grenade, and he throws it, and you're like, oh, cool, something's going to happen. And it goes, <laughs> and you get a cloud of dust, and you're like, oh. It's, it, it, oh. It, it's almost a um, metaphor for the movie, isn't it? It's just, <laughs> just you're, you're expecting something great. Every time you expect something, yeah. Wait, they're, they're trying to make believe this is America? What was that? What? Was that a bomb? Was that a smoke bomb? This is low end of sort of okay. It's not going anywhere near a thing. Not that I think I'm going to have an argument from you. You're not Meeks. No. But, um... It depends. Here's the thing. It strongly depends, if I would recommend someone go and get it, what the other two are like. Because if it's a great series and you just have to go through the boring first section... But it sets everything up, in a sense, because Trash is back in the third one. He's not in the second one. I don't think the actor's in the second one. Um, Fred Williamson and most of the others are. They filmed them, like, back to back. To be honest, that sounds great, because he was so dull. The idea of Fred Williamson being a main character. Uh, if, if Fred Williamson's the protagonist in the next one, it might be really good. Well, it's actually telling on the back of the box. It says, directed by Italian action maestro Enzo G. Castellari. And starring Fred Williamson and George Eastman. Now, George Eastman was the golem, the head of the zombies, and is basically not in it. So if it's touting those two but not telling you who the main guy is, <laughs> who is he, actually? Oh, yeah, also on the front of the box, it, it, yeah. it's got uh, the, the director's name only on the thing. Well, you, the way that's framed, you'd think it, that was his name. Hmm. Because usually you would put the, the the actors' names on the box. Castellari. Know? Yeah, well, it says, if you'd say, Enzo G. Castellari's The Bronx Warriors. Yeah. But not starring anybody. Yeah. If the other two are good, I would recommend getting the trilogy. Uh, you might be able to skip that one anyway, though. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I do agree. Low end of shelf of sort of okay. It just, just, just a couple of, just a couple of things allow it out of shit yes unlike arena as i said earlier arena was on shit because it wasted all the potential it had i don't know how much potential this I, really I don't had. think it had potential to be a good movie i think it had some potential to be a good bad movie but it, it probably was never gonna it be just i don't the mark. think it ever had potential to make it a thing no never it misses the mark um of being a great bad movie it's just a sort of okay bad movie <laughs> i'm sure all of that picked up on the mic jasper you tell them you tell them sort of okay <laughs> try and get no oh, that's fine yeah Whenever you're ready to beat the shit out of me. And action.
All right, Bronx Warriors. Yeah. Well, I mean, you've seen the trailers for the other two, so. Yep. It wasn't the worst, but you yeah, know. But you know there, 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 is, there is potential to grow and to improve or to devolve. Mm. Can either of you sign for this? How did you get in here? The one one let me in. What? Why didn't you just sign for a mix? <sighs> you your bloody jam. This is how I sign for things. <laughs> Here you go. Mm -hmm. mm. Hey, uh, Ito. Ito, yes. do you like movies? Yes. Uh, 